welcome back to Attingham Park and I've skipped ahead to September 2nd I just want to put the time up to times five to keep it progressing and you can really see the impact of the grazing areas that I added in a while ago the cows have pretty much stripped the entire pasture bare which is really cool because it's providing them with a heck of a lot of food so if I go in to the menu one second there we go so the cows are now full on feed which is really cool um i'm not sure where any of them are in terms of reproduction uh, they've still got a way to go um yeah and the uh the beef cattle i have just given some feed because they were pretty darn low um today's job i should have kept the map open is to prep fields 29 and 30 so these are going to be uh, oats and wheat for next year they need some manure spreading on them and i think at least one of them needs a plowing yet 29 needs plowing as well and um, 28 is going to be beets so we do need to plow that at some point but maybe not straight away so I think the first job is going to be getting some manure spread and then we will get in to plowing. So let's go into the store because I want to buy a new weight and I haven't checked if it's included in this version, but the weight that I really enjoyed using was from the Sintrack pack. There it is, the multi-weight. I always think this looks really good on the front of a Deutsch tractor. Um, we're going to get it in the onyx black um, and that's kind of the config that i like to go to it would be nice if it didn't have these extra bars um actually we could go for 2400 kilos yeah i'm gonna go for that but three and a bit of thousand pounds um but i think i'm really bad at not running weights on my tractors so we are going to do that the other thing that I am trying out today is the, um, I, if you're on Discord, you might have seen me mention it. Um, for uh, part of my birthday present was a half keyboard. Um, so a, ga gonna say, a gaming half keyboard, um, which is plugged in to the, um, the new gaming PC. Um, so bear with me because there may be some incidents of me struggling to do things uh, because it's different you know change is bad obviously um yeah, it it's really not that different um you know it's just a keyboard um but it's off to the side of the normal keyboard and the tendency that i'm having is to just reach for and use the normal keys um uh, we'll see how it goes if not i might just end up um so the reason that i've done that is you may remember that so i'm recording this on the new gaming pc um and the issue i had there i'm gonna swap it it's annoying me already so the issue i had before was around um the keyboard and the mouse disconnecting through the switch that i use to manage switching monitors and keyboards between uh, my work computer the gaming desktop and the laptop because uh, i have yeah, if if i'm doing a working day you know i've got a couple of computers on the go potentially so yeah um but that was kind of irritating so it's a bit annoying because it does have some nice features like it has uh, some macro keys and stuff so i'll have another explore with that um, but i also have added um i've got a, a usb extension which means i can quickly switch where the keyboard's plugged in um, which is a much easier option so that's what i've done um and we're gonna get some manure spread um i am not sure how much nitrogen oats needs but i will need to go and check that as well um because i think we're going to concentrate on field 29 first because that's the one that also needs plowing um, we should check the 
planting window as well. So let's do that. Um, so both are kind of right at the start of the planting window. Let me go check the um, nitrogen levels. So we have uh, a whole field of loamy sand, which I think has a requirement for out of a hundred kilograms of nitrogen per hectare. We currently have 20. I think probably adding 60 is a sensible amount because um, I'm going to manually set it to 60. But I pretty much prefer doing it manually. Um, I think that's a sensible amount because then we can just top it up um, later on maybe with some liquid fertilizer with the sea and spray and precision farming we could maybe um it's not one that i use very often but we could maybe use the crop scanner later on and um, get that perfectly perfect fertilization and with this approach that might be worthwhile actually if we wait until the oats are fairly well grown in we could then just come over and do that in a single application so that's probably a good use case for the the crop scanner in uh, in FS22 Maze Plus, not Maze Plus, Precision Farming. Oh, um, yeah, FS22 Precision Farming. I can see that that is a good use case for doing the um, doing the doing doing the uh, crop scan because at that point, you know, we've still got a little way to go on the fertilization. Anyway. We've still got to do twenty. 20-ish kilograms of nitrogen. Actually, we're we going too high. No, it's just picking up weird values. Oh, it looks about right to me. Um, yeah, there we go. Um, so you know we've got to add about 20 kilograms of nitrogen per hectare anyway. And there are some bits that are coming in higher, so I'm going to drop that rate down to 45 and give us a bit more headroom. Um, and I'm over fertilize and then we'll, we'll come through with the crop sprayer later on with the the scanner on and we'll get perfectly perfect and you know doing it that way I can see that it's worth doing if you've already perfectly fertilized your field I do not see the point in using the crop scanner I did a bunch of videos on it when precision farming released and the benefit is so small um, but in this case I, I think this is a use case where it's worthwhile so that's what we'll try let's just quickly check the precision farming nitrogen map and we have a couple of little spots which are high but overall that's okay so cool should be in a good spot uh, once we get into the middle of the field it should stabilize with the uh, the values that it's picking up in the mud so yeah, we are doing a trying another almost live video. These seem relatively popular, so I'm gonna stick with them. I because I have to record these at my desk anyway. I have pretty much unless I'm traveling. Um, I've pretty much decided to record these on the gaming desktop so we can make use of the higher performance computer. So no flickering, you will notice. So what I'm have noticed with the flickering in my use case is quite often on my laptop when I hit record the flickering can start and so it's obviously the um, the computer being worked really hard is part of the problem um, this computer is not being worked hard at all to do this um, which is why I'm doing it this way for this one um, so yeah, what I've done on my gaming laptop is enabled the um, NVIDIA's DLSS feature um, and have it on quality mode, I think. And that seems to have helped a bit. Um, so what that does is use um, clever stuff to reduce the load on the computer by doing prediction and stuff like that to generate frames. Um, I'm not sure if it also does some scaling in the background of the image before it's rendered. Um, some of them do that as well. So although you see a 1440p picture on the screen, it's actually um, an upscaled lower resolution. Um, I'm not sure if the NVIDIA one does that or not. Um, and, you know, so 
upscaling is a really cool thing in videos that's how the videos that i put on youtube are 4k um i play at 1440p i used to play at 1080p and in both of those cases i would use the editing software that i use which is davinci resolve to upscale those videos to 4k and that means that it is one, I guess if you've really got a 4K display that you're watching, you're watching on TV or whatever, you can watch it in 4K. I don't know how it looks in 4K. Um, I should test it now I have a 4K TV. Um, and the other thing it does is it um, YouTube gives better codecs and data rates for all the other things, I think. That was the logic I saw in the tutorial video that I watched about it, and that's why I do it. Um, it would be nice to not yeah it, it, it's done to get a better quality product for you guys um so it's um, even the lower resolutions it should be better quality um the downside is the video files are freaking huge um so it would be nice to not do it at 4k um because uploading them takes a long time but i am also a bit of a uh a bit this one's right i'm a bit of a nerd about stuff yeah shock um but i also want the videos and things i produce to be good quality so there is that um it's thursday so it's the day before this video should go live um disco is currently i think he's on his way back from his ultrasound um we dropped him off at the vets this morning. They just phoned Mrs. D to say that he is on his way back. Um, and I'm going to have edited out where that was because I don't want to say that. So let me make a note of where I am in the video. Sorry. I don't want to give away exactly where I am. And that was a bit close to home. Um, so he is, he is at another vets. Um, and yeah, he's on his way back to our vet. So I'm expecting very soon we will go and find out how he's doing. Um, I have no idea if there's, I'm, I'm kind of hoping that he just had a really off week with some sort of bug or something. Um, but you know, who knows what's the underlying cause of his health problems and that's the, uh, the ultrasound was the first attempt at finding out if there is anything because the uh, the the kind of the main symptom that he had was lots of abdominal pain so we will see i guess um kind of nervous kind of worried but we'll see how he does yeah it's nice to uh, going back to playing farm sim nice to be getting most of my saves into the point where i just have jobs to do i mean this one's going to get into winter soon but what i'll do is a bit like greenlands in fact maybe faster is i'll skip through all the winter months off camera um because there's a lot less going on and particularly on this series where it's really about you know showing off aspects of gameplay it's not so much about you know the farm progressing and things then uh, yeah i think that'd be a good way to get stuff done on here um yeah I, I, oats are one of those ones that i find quite weird so i'll see we're growing oats so we can make grain mix for the animals um we could buy it but on here we're growing it um depending on the pricing i think you, you used to have to make decent money selling it i'm not sure now i haven't looked um but oats, I always find oats one of those weird ones because they don't need for a, for a you know a grain like I mean barley and wheat both need quite a lot of nitrogen and oats don't and I, it, it always throws me a little bit that the the nitrogen requirement for oats is so much lower than the other similar grain crops um, yeah that, that's always one that throws me slightly and so that's why we we're applying quite a light dose of manure on here might see if I can get auto drive running with course play to do the other one. Um, I've had problems recently with that, and someone posted on the video that I did about um, it just sitting there saying implement is empty even when it's full. 
um, which is kind of annoying. Um, but I had that happen on Maypole, and my solution in the end was just to set the game has an option for workers to just automatically pull from a a store, a storage point. So if we go into the um, I'm not sure which of the settings menus it is. We'll see, thankfully. Uh, yeah, so AI worker refills, I think it's, there you go, manure. So we can set it to take it from the uh, manure heap with 360 degree rotation. There we go. We could actually set it to take it from one of the others as well, probably. So, um, but I'll, if I can't get auto drive to work, that's probably what I'll do. For now, I think I'm going to get this field finished up because I have been waffling for quite a while and I'll be back when I'm done. Very last little strip to do. Let's remember to switch it on. We don't need the GPS for this in particular. I also realised that because I've switched computers, my avatar had reset. So we're back to being me, not being generic. It's 22, man. We should be able to get this last bit in and then we'll see if we can get auto drive and course play to play together. Um, this could be interesting. This could be interesting. So I don't actually know what kind of auto drive network. Uh, so we have got we've got an F30 weight field. Cool. What that needs. Connecting up. So we've got an auto drive point there. We want that on pick up and deliver. I think I need to set a minute on pick up and deliver. Or load. Let me go check. Yes, yes, I really did go and watch my own tutorial. Why not? Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to generate a course on here. I think two headlands should be plenty. Generate the course. There we go. Um, I think we probably can go for a bit more. Again, I should go check. Yeah, so it's another sandy loam field. So I think we want to be aiming for up to around 160. So... Um, that's a long way to go with manure, but maybe we go for plus 90, plus 85, that'll take us to about 100. So that's that bit done. We do want it in load mode, but I don't think we have a point at the other end yet. So let's head back to the farm and uh, sort out manure loading. The course might be a bit funky, it may end up running through that field, but so we're back at the farm and we need to start continuing our auto drive network. Because we don't have anything that runs past the manure point yet, so record, I want it to connect off of there, there. And then Going to pull forwards until we get the fill marker. We might need to move some stuff out of the way. There we go. So if we do there, let's try that. And then oh, we can get out that way. Oh, that looks like a good idea. pick up at the Namur fill. We want manure and we're going to um, field 30 weight. And we want that on. Let's see how it does. So, this may or may not go well. We, you know, doing auto drive live is obviously 
one of those things that we do not recommend but we'll see how it goes now so it looks like it's going to drive off to the field and back to the loading point um, or it's going to loop around somewhere there are some options this this is um, so this is how I use auto drive I don't have a full auto drive network across the map I just build little bits as I need them um, sometimes that's not the best way um, it comes from my background of playing on slightly lower spec computers and needing to uh, minimize the load on them and smaller course means less load so that's why um, I used to do that I could probably now just download some of the full auto drive networks for maps and it would be okay but you know we'll go back to the Namu fill and we'll see if it fills up and if it does I can crack on with plowing in this field um, I'm half tempted to get either a bigger plow or course play involved um, that's quite a turn I think I might still have hedge collisions off which is probably a good idea you know at least for some of this stuff because the hedge collisions in FS are all a bit odd because they're a collision you know um, so if you clip the edge of a hedge it's like driving into a uh, solid steel plate rather than a hedge which will flex uh, so let's see if a it fills up it's on separated manure it should be on manure or namur let's go get the namur and then uh, right, i'm going to just stop and restart that and hopefully it will load yes cool um, and hopefully it can get its way back to the field and fire up course play. And I will be happy. And off we go. Well, uh, field 30 weight cannot be reached. Okay. Let's go have a look at that, shall we? This is why we test stuff, and this is why sometimes it's better to do it not almost live. So we came out and along here, but it's just somehow not connected. We came up here. Up here. riveting content to there to there there so that's connected to there so it should be able to get all the way maybe if we try a field 30 weight I'm gonna run back to the farm but almost there take number however many this is and we'll see if course play will pick up from that point which is a bit further away but hopefully that will work okay and, uh, hopefully i think field 30 weight is linked out of there as well so i think it's linked onto yes yeah, linked onto the route that we sort of used before so yep course play has not picked oh now we're going to now it's working oh, random very random Hopefully everything will work okay. And off goes course play. Awesome. So we can. What plows do we have? Horsepower wise, these are 220 or a three and a half meter. Or. 
I got a six meter there, which needs 360, which I'm pretty sure the Terra Track must have. Yeah, so we're going to get a bigger plow. I think we'll just lease it for now. Um, yeah, let's lease that. And unhook the uh, turn off auto drive edit mode. Unhook the feed mixer and uh, get this beastie to work. Because this is why we have it, it's not just a feed attractor, obviously. God, I hope auto drive doesn't hit those tax bales. Well, the nice thing is we have the simple inspector running in the bottom left hand corner so we can see um, how much manure we're getting through, and it's quite a lot. That's a thing. I did the thing. Let's just have a look in the vehicle. Yes, yeah, so that's applying a nice amount of nitrogen, so not too worried. We've got quite a lot of manure. If we run out, we've got a lot of slurry and digestate. I just wanted to do some manure instead because it's been a while since. Actually, it's not because I did it on Maypole, but you know. I like to vary the things I do across the uh, the save as well as across the different bits and pieces. So, get this unfolded. That's a long one, isn't it? Yes, I'm sure some of you said it. Right. And I'm not entirely sure which way round we should start. As I said in the Maypole video, I often get this bit wrong, but you know. That's what happens when you play at farming, not an actual farmer, so. Move that across and it looks like it is heading off so lower that down we will jump over to the Deutz in a bit to see how it's getting on with uh, getting itself back to the yard and filling up although simple inspector will also tell me that so um, it looks like it's on its way back so that's kind of cool be really nice if that actually works because it's been a while since I've done anything like that with auto drive and I have had questions about it not working so um, I do think some of the key is starting it through auto drive not through course play that generally works better but we'll see if he says confidently once I've done this run, I will switch on GPS um, to straighten things up. I just wanted to not be plowing too much of the headland in just for the sake of running GPS. We don't have quite big headlands by the looks of things. Right. Keep an eye on the lights. Just going in to the yard. So actually, I think I want that the other way. I often start the wrong way round. Right, let's see how this goes. Almost perfectly timed jumping back. Right, filling up. A nice nice amount of manure there as well. Can it find its way back to the field? Is the question. That's where it got stuck before. And that's where it's got stuck again. Is there a gap in the course there? Why? Yeah. And I disconnected it again. And that's why it's getting stuck. And there, to there. And then this one is too close. There to there. There we go. Hopefully, course play will kick off from where it was before. So, to get that back on. 
we go. So we're gonna replow part of it, but we then will be on a nice run for no. lower. There we go. We'll be on a nice run then for going on the up down roads. And then I'll do so I'm gonna I generally with things like plowing, I don't do I don't leave headlands all the way around the field. We do headlands at each end. And then we do the, we do the up down rows first and then we do the two short runs. That's how I do it. So not necessarily how everyone does it, but it's not necessarily even the correct way to do it. But it's what I do. So this plow is hopefully going to make quite short work of this field being slightly wider let's see where the Deutz kicks off from again hopefully it's gonna go back to where it was looks like it is awesome everything is running smoothly so if we lift up and we're gonna turn first because that way turn off edit mode on auto drive that way the plow's not in the way as we turn and then we'll rotate get ourselves lined up and with these big plows there is a bit more fat between runs but you know we're covering a lot more width um, now I could have used auto drive, or sorry, auto drive course play and run two small plows and uh, I could have driven one of them but I wanted to do it this way. Plowing is one of those jobs that I do really enjoy and I think we'll hopefully see course play sorting itself out in the background as well. It's not started spreading yet hopefully it will soon once it starts spreading i'm going to uh crack on with some of this in the background and catch up with you in a bit i just want to make sure that course play gets going again on its own okay which it looks like it has awesome i will be back when we've done a bit more and i'm back so for you no time has passed watching this video for me almost a week has passed um yeah i uh so i think i will have been chatting about this guy going off for his ultrasound at the start of this video um if you're a regular on the channel you will know the results of that ultrasound and it is now wednesday the day before he goes for his uh tumor removal surgery so yeah i uh i just have not been able to get on to play this one uh course play is just finishing off in the distance um auto drive and course play have worked together really well considering that i stopped and started playing this session many many times and that field is now fertilized ready for having stuff planted um i don't actually remember what's going in there but yeah it's done a really good job so that's cool i think it's wheat um so i am gonna crack on with finishing the plowing up um and that will be a video so the guess the other thing that's changed is uh i updated the game between literally you know seconds of you watching me um because it was that long between and uh when i first came in boy did the fps take a hit um i think that was just the game rebuilding the shader cache that it needed um what i have seen since break good job the hedges are soft is at the moment no flickering um now i am on the the, the better pc to record this so that might just be an artifact of playing with a better graphics card um or it might be that giants have done stuff i have not really tested it in great detail on my laptop i did record the uh the first video of the new mini series last night on my laptop with the updated version of the game and didn't have any flickering 
So we'll see. I need to test it on um, words, maple or Freling or Greenlands, because on all of those I was getting quite a lot of flickering trees. So it'll be interesting to see whether I still do or not. Um, but yeah, I think this video is probably pretty long and all I'm going to do is finish plowing this field now. So I think I'm going to say thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, obviously this one will edit together slightly weirdly I suspect because there is almost a week gap between everything else you've seen before the last three minutes. Um, and there might be another gap because, you know, life. Um, I don't know what day this video is coming out. I don't know what the next day or so holds in the disturbed household. So, yeah. Um, I do want to get this video finished. So I am going to say thanks for watching. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, click the like button. You'll cheer me up a little bit. Um comments questions suggestions below i might leave doing the headlands until the next video because i'm going to do those slightly differently but i'm going to finish playing the rest of the field between videos so i will see you next time on attingham park